Okay, a bit too bright to see, but I'm going to set up for auto tune. And so the first thing I want is to set auto tune on a function switch. I don't know why my Yarp has stopped working, but if I look at uh, set up these guys, I'm going to put it on that switch. Which is radio 10, okay? So I'm going to go to RC10. RC10. And I'm going to change the RC10 option to 17, which is auto tune. And then I'm also going to check auto tune options. Auto tune. Axis is set to 7. I'm going to reduce aggressiveness to 0.075 since I'm using um, uh, ESC driven notches. And then the other thing I'm just going to check since uh, since Yarpo isn't working very well is what is the battery failsafe set to and it's set to failsafe critical action you can't really see that bat underscore fs underscore crt act set to one which is land which is what i want and then we've got low action is set to two which is rtl which i don't really want to do at this stage so i'm going to set that to one so land in all circumstances if the battery goes low and is the low voltage set 14.4 should be okay fashion wise at 21 i'm i am getting battery through the heads up display so i think that's good so what i'm going to do is see if i can get an auto tune on all of the axes like that so i'm going to switch to loiter switch into auto tune and uh let it do its stuff so and I'll have to figure out back at home why Yapu isn't working. So let's untick that. All right, hopefully that'll be roughly in shot. I've got plenty of battery, so I think it should work quite well. Let's see what happens. So, taking off in loiter. So somewhat surprisingly that needed uh, a your detune so the your e-tune that I got was very soft uh, but uh, that's okay done a your detune so um, I've tuned all the axes now uh, done roll pitch your e your d in that order and um, just as a reminder so I set up auto tune on a switch so I've done a whole series on auto tune, but just as a reminder, I set up auto tune on the switch. I took off in loiter, got to a stable hover with the throttle at the midpoint. So it's very important that the throttle is at the midpoint, otherwise auto tune won't engage. And then I engaged auto tune and let it do its stuff. And then when the auto tune was complete, I didn't change mode, I didn't switch out of auto tune, I landed and disarmed. And at that point, auto tune settings are saved, and then I can switch out of auto tune. Um, and then a little bit of a nuance so, your usually takes a bit longer than the other two axes, so I put a fresh battery in to do your, did your E on a fresh battery, got um, a fairly poor, fairly soft tune, which you could see by the Excel, the your Excel, and the your P value. Uh, um, angle p value uh, but then I did a your 
detune that tightens it right up. Just really, really great. So that's what I've got now. So what I'm going to do now, I sort of put um, put the axes back on. Uh, just roll and pitch. So roll and pitch should tune very quickly now. Ah, oh, the other thing I did for to tune your D was you have to set a value for felt D and an initial value for D. So I picked a uh, a felt D value for your of a quarter of my gyro frequency, so 10 hertz. And then I picked a D value of 0 0.001, which I think is the minimum D value that is set normally. So you, you usually don't want it set to zero, but I, I think it does it automatically. But anyway, it worked quite well. So um, I'm back in Loiter now. I've got AXC set. I've got a fresh battery on. So what I'm going to do is take off and do a quick auto tune roll and pitch which should complete very quickly and just just show you the procedure so um, here's my transmitter so we're in loiter we're gonna arm there we go we're armed just gonna pop the camera down so that i can take off oops disarmed okay arming Off. Okay. So there we are, it's taken off, and I'm at stable mid stick as you can see. This throttles at the mid stick, and I'm gonna engage this channel 7, which is also tuned. Okay, so now it's doing roll, and it should complete quite quickly because. Roll has already been tuned. You see, it's fairly aggressive already. Right into the sun. Can't see a thing. So, roll going. Auto tune gaze. Lloyd's is working well. Stable altitude, which is good. Twitches tend to get smaller as it gets locked in. As soon as he does these big twitches, that's angle P being tuned, so it's nearly at the end. This, this is the angle P tune. Should be done almost very soon. Okay, that's done, on to pitch. See a little wobble at the end there. I, I think that's a pitch wobble there. It's tuning that out now, which is good. You saw a little bit of an overshoot. It's possible that yours are a bit overtuned. Sometimes I dial down the aggressiveness factor on your, but uh, it doesn't. It's not a. It's not a racer. I don't need it to be perfect. I just need it to be pretty good. Let's just lift the altitude up. up a bit which is not helping
Zangle P. And that's done. So now I've got to land. I need to put the camera down in order to land. Let the motor spin down this arm, and at that point, the tune is saved, and I can check the tune. All good.